Hi there beautiful soul. I would like to invite a yoga practice focused around digestion and to help combat any bloating, which is just like a human thing. Like, trust me, you're not alone. Everyone's gonna experience this at some point or another. I actually get it a lot because I'm celiac. And so if you have any kind of issue that affects your digestion, like celiac disease, for example, these are some postures that you can come back to whenever you need a little bit of help in that area. So a general rule of thumb in terms of yoga and digestion is that twists are really good for helping to get our digestion systems moving and to help move around all of that gunk inside of us. They're also really good for toxin release um, and for cleansing. So that's the aim of this practice. We're gonna start just by breathing though. So I want you to find a comfortable seat Taking one hand to the heart space, one hand to the belly. Closing down the eyes if you feel safe and comfortable. Drawing the shoulders down the spine away from the ears. Lengthening through the back of the neck and all the way out through the crown of the head. Gentle, quiet, slow breaths in and out through the nose. Filling up the pit of the belly if you can. So really relaxing through the belly muscles. We'll start with five really long, slow breaths. There's absolutely no rush. So just by taking these long, slow belly breaths, we're giving ourselves permission to activate the parasympathetic nervous system, which is our rest and digest system giving our body space to know that it's safe, to know that it's held, it's worshiped and it's cared for. Our bodies, of course, are going to hold on to a lot of things, especially in our tummies. If we aren't in a restful, peaceful state of mind, if you think about it, if you were being chased by a tiger, touch wood, that's never gonna happen. <laughs> You wouldn't think to yourself, oh, I've got to go to the toilet. No, <laughs> because our body shuts off our digestion if it's in a state of fear or it feels like it's unsafe. So reminding yourself through the energy, through your hand on your heart space and through your womb space with the hand over the belly, reminding yourself that you are held, you are safe, you are at peace. It is safe to relax and to exist without fear, without stress. And on every exhale, softening further into the physical body and moving further away from any of the negativity or the mental stress and tension and the ruminating thoughts that most of us have. being really kind and nurturing to your physical body. And when you've finished your five or 10 rounds, I'm gonna invite a gentle twist. I'm gonna start with a gentle twist. So taking the left hand to the top of the right knee, the right hand comes behind you. Inhale as you lift up through the spine, grow tall and out through the crown of the head. And then as you exhale, we're twisting from the navel center, from the belly button upwards. So using the thoracic spine, maybe looking back over the back shoulder. Inhale, we grow tall. Exhale, we twist. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Releasing back to center and we'll swap sides. The right hand comes to the left knee. The left hand comes behind you. Inhale, lift up, grow nice and tall. And as you exhale, twist back, maybe look over your, your left shoulder. Inhale. Exhale. Full breath in. Full breath out. coming back to center. Releasing up the block if you're sitting on one. And we're gonna find a child's pose, a narrow knee child's pose. So the knees are together, 
the hips just gently rest down onto the heels. And from here, you're gonna make two fists. I want you to inhale, suck your belly in so that the belly moves towards the spine and that you actually create a little bit of a cave in the tummy if you can. And then we're gonna use the fists in the belly and really push them in, massage them in towards the gut area, massage them around. And then we're gonna fold down over our fists and then breathe deeply into the fists. And this is a really beautiful posture for digestion. So don't worry if you hear like some gurgles and some weird noises, that's totally normal, just go with it. So as you inhale, suck the belly in and up towards the spine. The fists move into the belly, massage them around a little bit, and then folding forwards, folding down onto the hands. The forehead comes to the mat. And feel free to keep moving the hands around here. I think this has got to be one of my favorite digestive postures. It just feels so good and it helps so much. Really just loosening up any excess toxins and yucky gunk inside of us so that we can release it easy. coming back into an upright position. If you find that that is just like the bee's knees and where you are right now, you're like, I do not want to move. Feel free to just like pause the video, stay there for as long as you like, and then replay and come meet us back here. We'll find our way onto our backs. This one's a gentle one. Hugging the knees into the chest and then just rocking gently side to side. So again, stimulating the digestive system. You might find that you have an urge to maybe like let out a little fluff here, that's totally normal too. And then extending one leg out long and then draping the knee that's into your chest across the body for a supine twist, looking back at the opposite shoulder in hand and really grounding down through that shoulder. Coming back through center, both knees to chest again. Remembering what leg you extended last time and extending the opposite leg this time. And then again, draping the knee that's into the chest across the body and looking back at the opposite hand. Finding your way onto your back, hugging the knees to the chest and we'll roll up to a seat. A variation of half lord of the fishes, extending your right leg out long, the right toes flex up towards the face. If you find that you have a tendency to curve through the spine here, feel free to either just take the hands and pull out, physically pull out the fleshy part of your buttocks, or you can sit up onto a block for a little bit of elevation here if you prefer that. You're then going to take the outer left foot, the blade edge of the left foot, to the outer edge of the right knee. This is option one. If you would like to deepen this twist, you can take the left foot up to the outside of the right hip and bend the right foot to come out to the outside of the left hip. From here, whether you're in the twisted version or your legs out long, we're going to take a twist. So the open twist is right hand behind you, left hand comes in front. Inhale, grow tall through the spine again. Exhale as you twist. I like to take an open variation first 
And then once I feel comfortable here and I've created the space, I then take the deeper twist. So left hand behind you, the right hand either comes, you can take it to the outside of the left knee and lift up the belly button towards the kneecap and then twist. Or maybe you like to take the right elbow to the outside of the left knee and find that variation. Full breath in. Grow tall. Exhale, twist deeper. Inhale. Exhale. Coming back to center. Untangle the legs, take the feet out to as wide as the mat. And then we'll take the hands behind us, fingertips to the body, draw the shoulders together, lift the heart, and then we'll windscreen wiper through the legs. So both knees across to the left and then to the right. Left, right. And then we'll swap sides. So coming back up into that straight seated position, you can find Dandasana first if you like, again, pulling the fleshy parts of your sit bones out, and then we'll swap the legs. So bending up the right knee to the sky, left toes flex towards the face, taking the blade edge of the right foot outside the left knee, choose to keep the left leg extended, or maybe bending at the knee, taking the heel towards the outer right hip. Make sure if you take this option that both your sit bones are grounded down firmly into the floor. And then open twist first, taking the right hand forward inside the knee, left hand behind you, inhale, grow tall, exhale, twist. Holding just for a breath or two, just until, until you feel like you have the space. And then finding the closed twist, right hand behind you, left hand to the sky, inhale, exhale and twist. Elbow can be to the outer right knee, or maybe you'd like the gentle variation with the hand on the outside, dropping the shoulders away from the ears and then finding the twist. Full breath in, full breath out. And coming all the way back down onto your back, however you like to get there, we'll find a happy baby, grabbing the outer edges of the feet, or maybe pistol gripping the big toes however feels more comfortable for you. And then rolling the lower back onto the earth. So really get as much of your spine on the ground as you can. Hug the shoulders together across the top of the back. Lift the heart space towards the heavens. How does that feel through the chest? Do you feel like you have a little bit more space here? Then use the hands to pull the feet down to the earth and the feet to pull the hands up to the sky as the knees come in towards the shoulders. You might like to straighten out one leg or straighten out the other. Maybe alternating from side to side or keeping both knees bent. You can just find a gentle rock and just rocking from one side to the other. Keep lifting through the heart space. One legged happy baby. Keep hold of the right leg, extend the left leg towards the top edge of the mat, flex the toes up towards the sky or point them down to the ground just so that that left leg's active. Then I invite you to take the left hand to the left hip to keep it grounded so that both sit bones directly face the ceiling. Keep bringing the right knee into the right shoulder or armpit. Releasing the leg and we'll swap sides. Half happy baby on the other side. Right toes pointed or flex, whatever feels more comfortable. Right hand on the right hip, grounding down and then extending the sole of the left foot towards the sky. Releasing, hugging both knees back into the chest. We'll find another gentle twist, really easy. So come into reverse tabletop or supine tabletop and then wrap the right leg over and around the left leg, all the way around if you can so that the toes wrap around the ankle. Cactus through the arms, palms face up towards the sky. And then from here again, we'll just find a little twist. So I want you to rock from side to side, drop the knees across to the right, look to the left and then come back through center, drop the knees to the left, look to the right. Back through center, to the right. Back through center, to the left. Keep the core engaged as you move from side to side so that the lower back stays hugged onto the floor. Coming back through center and we'll swap sides the next time you're there. 
Left leg wraps around the right and the same thing. Drop them down to the left, look towards the right. Belly's engaged, lower back stays hugged onto the floor and then across to the right. Through center to the left. Through center to the right. Coming back through center, unwind the legs, knees to chest. Maybe take the whole forearms around the legs, around the shins and hug the forehead towards the knees. Give yourself a gentle little squeeze and hug, a healing little hug. And then extending out fully wide, arms up above you, feet all the way in the other direction, big body on. Bend one knee up, bend the other knee up. Come up through a seated position. Now I'd like to invite this only if it feels right for you. It's being called to me at the time. I wasn't planning on doing this, but I really feel like it's gonna be helpful for me in this moment. Coming down onto your belly, we'll find a seal pose. Hands beneath the shoulders, fingers spread wide. Allow the hips to melt down to the ground and the feet come out to either edge of the mat, maybe a little bit wider even allowing the chest to lift up towards the heavens. So here we're opening up through the belly. Inhale. As you exhale, bring the heels together and sink back child's pose. Inhale as you move forward. The knees stay where they are, but the feet move apart. Lift the heart. Seal pose. Exhale, child's pose. Last one, inhale. Exhale. And then coming all the way back up to center. So those are a couple of postures that you can try to help with bloating and digestion. And like I said before, it is totally normal. It happens to the best of us. And not even sometimes, like it happens probably a lot of the time. But it's lucky that we have these poses um, and the practice of yoga to help us find a little bit of relief in that kind of area. I hope that you found something to help you today as well. And if you did, please let me know how you go. I would love to hear from you. Literally, I would love to hear from you. It makes my day whenever I get a message from you telling me that you tried a class um, or that you found some kind of benefit or healing properties in either my words or the way that I teach um, or the way that you receive the practice because that's what it's all about. It's not even about what I teach, it's the way that you can fully embody the practice. I'm not your teacher, I'm just here giving you suggestions and it's up to you to be able to listen to your body and your intuition, that gut space, yeah, and to know what's right for you that day. So hopefully together we created a really beautiful healing space and Maybe, hopefully, you need to go use the bathroom. Who knows? <laughs> Hands together at heart space, closing down the eyes. From my heart space, my physical body, my womb space, my digestive tract, from everything that makes up me, from my heart and my being, my existence to yours. Together we say, Namaste. Namaste.